Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss AVL tree insertion. Already, we have discussed what is AVL tree, what are all the different types of rotations we can able to perform an AVL tree in detail. I will provide the link in the description for your reference. Now, in this session, we are going to discuss AVL tree insertion. Construct an AVL tree for the given list by successive insertion 5, 6, 8, 3, 2, 4 and 7. So, successively we have to insert element by element that is in every step we will insert one element. After insertion we have to check the balance factor for the tree and if the balance factor is 0, plus 1 or minus 1 in the sense. In these three cases the tree is a balanced one. Suppose if the balance factor is plus 2 or minus 2 in the sense the tree is unbalanced. In that case, we have to implement rotation to convert the tree into a balanced one. Okay. Either a single rotation or double rotation. In single rotation, there are two types. Single left rotation and single right rotation. And in double rotation, there are two types. Double left right rotation and double right left rotation. So, depends upon the need, we have to implement particular type of rotation to convert the tree into a balanced one. Okay. So, now we will check it. So, step 1, we have to insert element 5. So, first we have to insert element 5. See, what is AVL tree? AVL tree is a height balanced binary search tree. It is a binary search tree. So, it has to satisfy both binary search tree condition and also the height should be balanced. That is, the balance factor should be 0 plus 1 or minus 1. Okay, both the condition it has to satisfy. So, whenever you are performing insertion, we have to check it should be a binary search tree and also it should be a height balanced binary search tree. So, here only one element, no need to check anything. Okay, second element is 6, insert 6. Since it is a binary search tree, the left subtree should consist of elements less than this root node and right subtree should consist of elements greater than this root node. Okay, so root node here accordingly the first element is 5. Okay, so next element we are going to insert here is 6. So 6 is greater than 5, insert it as a right subtree. Okay, see here if you are checking the balance factor, here if you are checking the balance factor it is 0. So what is balance factor? How we will find it? It is number of left subtree minus number of right subtree. So here if you are checking number of left subtree is 0 minus number of right subtree is 1. So, the balance factor for the root node is minus 1 and for 6 the balance factor is 0. For leaf nodes the balance factor is 0. Okay. So, now here it is minus 1 and 0 only. So, balance factor is satisfied. So, this is a AVL tree. So, no need to perform any rotations here. Okay. Third step already the tree is 5 and 6. Okay. Next we have to insert element 8. So, 8 is greater than the root node 5. So, go to its right subtree and check with the next element. 8 is greater than the element 6. So, insert 8 as a right child of 6 since it is a greater element. If it is lesser in the sense, you have to insert it as a left child. Okay. Now, you check the balance factor. We have performed insertion 8. You have to check the balance factor whether it is a AVL tree or not. Balance factor for 8 is 0 and 6 is Number of left child is 0 and right child is 1. 0 minus 1, it is minus 1. And for root node 5 is number of left child is 0 minus right child is 2. 1, 2. So, the balance factor here is 2. See here, the balance factor gets affected, right? So, it is not a AVL tree. It is a binary search tree, but it is not a AVL tree, okay? So, here you have to perform a rotation to convert the unbalanced tree into a balanced one. So, what type of rotation here we have to perform? This side you have to rotate. So, it is a left rotation and here single left rotation is enough to convert it into a balanced one. So, here you have to perform a single left rotation. If you are performing single left rotation, 6 will become the root node and 5 will be the left child of 6. And 8 will be as it is the right child of 6. Okay. So, after performing single left rotation, this is the new tree we got it. Check whether it is a binary search tree. 6 is the root node and left child is 5. 5 is lesser than the root node. Yes, it is satisfied. And 8 is the right child. 8 is greater than the root node. 
Yes, it is satisfied. It is a binary search tree. Now check for avial tree property. So what is avial tree property? The balance factor should be either 0, plus 1 or minus 1 in the sense this is an avial tree. If it is plus 2 or minus 2 in the sense it is not an avial tree. Right? So here check the balance factor. Balance factor for leaf nodes always it is 0. And for root node, number of left child is 1 and right child is also 1, 1 minus 1, 0. Yes, it is balanced. So, this is a avial tree. So, with this new tree, with this new binary search tree, we have to perform next insertion. So, next you have to insert element 3. Okay. So, step 4, insert 3. Already the tree is 6, 5 and 8. Right. Next you have to insert element 3. So, element 3 is less than root node 6. So, go to its left sub tree. Element 3 is less than the node 5. So, insert 3 as a left child of 5. Okay. Now, we have inserted element 3. Next, to check the balance factor. Balance factor for leaf nodes is 0. And for node 5 is number of left child is 1, right child is 0, 1 minus 0, it is plus 1. And for root node 6 is 2 minus 1, it is plus 1. Right. Now the tree is balanced only. Next, insert the next element 2 into this tree. Okay. So, if you are inserting 2 in the sensor. So, already the tree is 6, 5, 3 and it is 8 here. Next, you have to insert element 2. Check with the root node. 2 is less than 6. Go to its left subtree. 2 is less than 5. Go to its left subtree. 2 is less than 3. So, insert element 2 as a left child of 3. Okay. Now, after insertion, check the balance factor. Balance factor for leaf nodes always it is 0. Okay. And for node 3 is 1 minus 0, it is plus 1. And for node 5 is 2 minus 0, it is plus 2. And for root node 6 is number of left child is 1, 2, 3. And right child is 1. 3 minus 1, it is plus 2. So, here balance factor gets affected. Right. So, we need to perform a rotation here. What type of rotation here we have to perform? Here only the balance factor gets affected. If you are performing a single right rotation, the tree will be balanced. Okay. So, here balance factor gets affected. So, pointing to node 5, you have to perform a single right rotation. And if you are performing, the balance factor will be satisfied. Okay. So, here you have to perform a single right rotation. So, 6 will be the root node and here if you are performing the rotation 3 will be the left child here okay and 2 will be the right child of 3 and if you are performing rotation here in the sense 5 comes down so this will be the right child of 3 okay and 8 will be as it is right child of 6 okay now you check whether it is a binary search tree root node is 6 Left subtree elements all are less than root node 6. Right subtree element is greater than the root node 6. Now you check for node 3. Left element is 2. It is less than 3. Right element is 5. It is greater than 3. Yes, it is satisfying binary search tree property. Now you check for balance factor also. So balance factor for all leaf nodes it is 0 only. And for node 3 is number of left child is 1. Right child is 1. 1 minus 1 it is 0. And for node 6 is number of left child is 2 minus right child is 1. So, it is plus 1. Whether it is balanced? Yes, it is balanced. It is 0 and plus 1 only. So, it is balanced only. Okay. So, now we have converted the unbalanced binary search tree into a balanced one. Now, this is a AVL tree. Okay. AVL tree is a height balanced binary search tree. So, now we have inserted element 2. Next, we have to insert element 4. Step 6, we have to insert element 4. Check with the root node 4 is less than root element 6. Go to its left subtree. Left subtree element is 3. And here check 4 is greater than 3. So you have to insert it as a right child of 3. Okay. In the right side already element is there. So check with 5. 4 is less than 5. Okay. So insert it as a left child of 5. Okay. After performing insertion, check the balance factor. So, balance factor for all the leaf nodes, it is 0. For 5 is 1 minus 0, it is plus 1. And for 3 is 1 minus 1, 2. It is minus 1. And for root node 6 is number of left child is 1, 2, 3. 
okay levels you have to check it so this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 3 minus 1 it is plus 2 here see here the balance factor gets affected here so this is not a avl tree to convert it into a avl tree we have to perform a rotation what type of rotation here we have to perform so here you have inserted an element into the left sub tree okay and here you have inserted as a left child so here you have to perform a left rotation first followed by right rotation where it is unbalanced insertion happens here so because of this insertion here it gets unbalanced this root it gets unbalanced okay so here you have to perform a left rotation okay and then here you have to perform a right rotation so here if you are performing a left rotation if you are taking only this portion in the sense here if you are performing a left rotation in the sense what is the subtree we will get it here in the sense here 5 will be there and then 3 and 2 will go as its left child 3 will go as its left child 2 also will go as its left child and what is the left child of 5 that will be attached as a right child of 3 what is the left child of 5 that will be attached as a right child of 3 this is a new subtree we will get it only for this subtree this is the new subtree we will get it again with this one you have to perform a right rotation so if you are performing a right rotation now phi will becomes the root node okay so here i'll draw the tree as it is 6 will be here and 8 will be its right child so if you are performing a right rotation pointing to 6 phi will be the root node and 6 and 8 will be the right subtree of 5 and this left subtree as it is for 5. It is 3 and 2 is the left child and 4 is the right child. So, this is the new tree we will get it. So, if you are performing a double rotation, this is the new tree we will get it. For understanding purpose, I have drawn this tree. This is an intermediate tree. After performing single left rotation, you will get it. So, now check the balance factor. Balance factor here is 0, 0. For all leaf node, it is 0 only. And for this node 3, it is 0 only. Number of left child is 1, right child is 1. So, here also it is 0 only. And here, if you are considering it is minus 1. And here it is 1, 2, 1, 2. This is 0 only. Now, the tree is balanced. Next up. So, after inserting element 4, the tree is unbalanced. To convert it into a balanced one, we have performed double rotation that is LR rotation. First, it is a left rotation followed by right rotation. Next, step 7, insert element 7. So, what is the new tree? Here, I will draw. Okay. This is the AVL tree. After performing double left-right rotation, we got this tree. And with this tree, we have to insert element 7. So, 7 if you are considering it is greater than root element 5. So, go to its right subtree. And it is greater than the element 6. Go to its right subtree. It is less than the element 8. So, insert 7 as a left child of 8. Okay. So, now we have inserted 7 as the left child of 8. Next, to check the balance factor. Balance factor for the child node is 0. Here also it is 0. And here the leaf node is 0. And for 8 it is 1 minus 0 it is plus 1. And then for 6 it is left child it is 0. Right child it is 2. So 0 minus 2 you will get it as minus 2. Okay. And for root node 5 is 2 minus 3 it is minus 1. So where it is unbalanced? So this root here it is unbalanced, right? After performing insertion 7, so here it is unbalanced. Here the balance factor gets affected. So here you need to perform double right left rotation. So after performing double right left rotation, we will get the tree like this. That is 5 will be the root node, okay? And the left subtree, there is no change. Here balance factor is satisfied only. So left subtree there is no change at all. Only right subtree these three elements only balance factor gets affected. So if you are performing a single right rotation 7 will be attached as a right child of 6 and 8 will be attached as a right child of 7. Next you have to perform a left rotation and if you are performing a left rotation in the sense 7 will becomes the root node. For this subtree, 7 will become the root node. 
6 will be the left child, 8 will be the right child of 7. This is the new tree we will get it after performing double right left rotation. So, here balance factor is 0, here also it is 0, for all the leaf nodes it is 0. And here if you are checking 1 minus 1, 0. And here if you are checking 1 minus 1, it is 0. And here if you are checking 2 minus 2, it is 0. So, now all the balance factor is 0 only. So, it is satisfied. And binary search tree property also satisfied. All the left subtree elements are less than the root node and all the right subtree elements are greater than the root node. So, if you are performing successive insertion of these elements, we will get this is the new tree. And this is a binary search tree and also it is a AVL tree. So, whenever you are implementing double rotations, just implement the intermediate tree also, then you will understand easily. See here, if you are performing a single right rotation here, 7 will go here, 8 will be the right child of 7. Okay. So, 6, 7 and 8 will be here. Then if you are performing a left rotation, 7 will become the root node, 6 will be the left child, 8 will be the right child. So, this is the new tree we got it here. This is a AVL tree. So, Insertion, whenever you are inserting a new element into the AVL tree, you have to check the balance factor. If it gets affected in this sense, accordingly, what type of rotation is required, that you have to implement. Either it will be a single left rotation or single right rotation or double left right rotation or double right left rotation. Whichever it is required to convert the tree into a balanced one, you have to implement that type of rotation. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.